Hi guys, Selena Walker here, naturopath and nutritionist, living deep in nature here at Aspridicoid. And I'm here to inspire you to live a healthy life, to create a healthy body, healthy mind and healthy planet. So today I am about to top my roots of my hair and I thought why not chat to you about the little routine that I do and all the, all the gorgeous herbs and plants I use to naturally dye my hair. Now the reason I naturally dye my hair is because we have a water system here where all the waste water from our house and how we live goes straight into the ground. So obviously I don't want to be putting nasty chemicals on my head because I'll be absorbing it. Remember anything that goes in our skin is absorbed much quicker than when we digest it. But also I don't want to harm the earth. I don't want to harm all the wildlife that lives around that earth. So I want to make sure whatever goes into the ground is as natural as possible. And years and years ago, I always used to henna my hair and I stopped doing it for quite some time and was using a so-called natural permanent hair dye. But still, there was lots of nasties in that, but I really didn't want to use any more. So I have been henna in my hair, but my hair natural colour is dark brown. So I use a mixture of indigo and henna to get the right shade. And I use some other scrummy little things to nourish my hair. And I wanted to share that with you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk you through everything I do and then show you the process. And I'll also link to another little video that I'd done quite some time back when I was originally starting to re-henna my hair. So you might be able to see, I'm not sure if I come a bit closer, you might be able to see, it's just my roots, it's only about down to here that I need to henna. So I'm just going to put some on, on that part of the hair and then the last part I would probably just run it through because it's so conditioning for the hair as well. So let's get on to the good stuff. So the things that you need are a few bowls, some gloves, a brush. I've got some kind of cape that I use. And at the moment, I'm still working my th way through the original roll of cling film I bought when I started to re henna my hair. Once this is gone, I'm going to start doing it plastic free and I'll share with you what I find to be the best solution. But for now, I've got it, so I'm using it. Right, I'm going to talk you now through all the powders. So the two ones that I use to colour my hair, I've got henna here and I've got indigo here. Now they're both quite green and because I'm aiming for like a dark brown and my hair is already quite dark brown, <laughs> but I'm aiming to keep my natural colour, I'm going to go one part henna, three parts indigo. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make that with a seaweed solution. So you can see in here, I've got some uh, bladderwrack seaweed and I've just hydrated it. Oh, smells of the sea and because we're in current lockdown, I haven't been to the sea for ages. That smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be making my henna solution with that. And what that will allow my henna solution to do will allow the henna to mix together lovely, but will also help nourish my hair. Now, the other thing I'm going to add to the solution when I'm making the solution, I'm going to be heating this already delicious seaweed juice up with some soap nuts, just one or two in it. And the reason that is I don't shampoo my hair. Um, I haven't washed my hair Let me since I remember the, it was the either the 13th or the 14th of February. And I'm using the soap nuts just to take off any oil, but not strip my hair like shampoo does. So just allow the henna to get in as deep as possible. Now the other thing is once it is done, I then use some other plants and things from the earth to help rinse it. So here, at the moment, we're not living in our house, we're still building it. So I haven't got running water. So that's why I don't do this that often because it is a bit of a faff. So what I do, once I rinse it off, I make a rassle clay solution because that helps pull out any of the chunks of henna and allows me to use less water, which is a great thing when you have to boil big pots of water to just get hot water in the first place. I'm also then going to make a conditioner out of some marshmallow root. And another key thing is a natural sponge because it's really easy to wipe any excess off. 
and I use some organic argan oil just around the base of my head, around the fore line and around my ears to stop the henna staining. Now I can't guarantee that's going to completely stop but it certainly helps any stains going on there. So that's what I'm going to use and that's what I'm going to go through today. I leave the henna on my hair for about five hours because my hair is very thick and it takes a lot for any dye to take. So I'm going to be having this on all day and I'm going to be tuning in with you so you can see the whole process. So what I'm now going to do, I am going to go and mix this with my seaweed solution. But first of all, I'm going to put my seaweed solution with the soap nuts in to a saucepan bring it to the bowl, just leave it simmer for a short period of time. Once it's cooled down, um, I'll mix it with the henna and then make sure it's really cool so I can start to apply it. I'll come out and show you guys what it looks like so you know what to aim for. I'll see you in a bit. You can tell when the henna is ready because it goes a bit like a curry. Can you see around the edge? It's a bit like when the curry and the oil starts to separate. And wait for it, I'll get the henna. That was the henna and this is the indigo. Can you see that? When you stir it, you'll see different colors. So I'm ready to and slap it on. And now it's time to slap it on. I mix the indigo and henna all together. Then I can take my plaits out and spread it in. What I'm aiming to do is separate different sections of my hair to get it right into the roots. And I simply just put a thin coating at the bottom, not so much for color, but to nourish it. And then I wrap it in the plastic wrap and then I just chill out for five hours and let the magic happen. Now the complicated bit is washing it all out without running water. So it's rinse, rinse, rinse until the water runs clear. Then I put the Russell clay on it to help get the last bits out and rinse that out with the seaweed solution. And then as a conditioner, what I'm using here is marshmallow root. And you can check my blog posts to find out all the details. And then finally, after I've poured the marshmallow root on, I'm just going to use a couple of drops of argan oil and rub it into my hair just for that extra bit of nourishment. And that is it. That's my natural plant hair dyeing routine. Hey guys, so if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel head on over to my website selinawalker.earth and sign up to my free newsletter where you get hints and tips on how you can create a healthy body, healthy mind and healthy planet.